What's up everyone? Today we have this, the Bose Quiet Comfort Ultra noise canceling headphones. We're gonna be unboxing it today and a quick overview of what's in, what's in the app. Oh, I just realized there's a pull tab. <laughs> it says here, here. <laughs> Okay. All right, got this on sale, Amazon Prime Day, three fifty bucks compared to the normal four hundred and thirty. It is brand new, so here it is. These instructions. Nope, safety info. <clears throat> so it comes in a, uh, a case. They feel pretty good. The hinges feel like metal, or they? I think they are. Left and right. Oh wow! So there are no uh, notches. That means you can place them anywhere you want. Okay, you can live with that. Got the aux cord, so in case your device doesn't have Bluetooth, you can still use them in wired mode. Right there, very thin cable though. So three and a half to two and a half. So you can tell one of them is smaller. And then a USB-C cable for charging. It's at least like a foot. The other one I had was a lot shorter on my previous, I think, Bose headphone. No charging bricks, so they expect you to connect to a computer or something to charge. Or supply your own charging brick. So are they comfy? Well, that really depends. Uh, well, if I say it's comfy, you might think it's not, but, or you might think it is. I have a pretty big head, so uh, let's see. Okay, they don't clamp too hard, which is good. They are pretty lightweight, and they block out a lot of sound even without the noise canceling on. Not a big fan of the the uh, adjustment where there's uh, no notches. It's kind of stiff too. So whatever, maybe I'll get used to it. They do fold, as you saw earlier. Okay, so there it is. So these are supposedly Bose's uh, best wireless headphones. There's a slider here, a touch slider, a button here, and uh, I think the power and Bluetooth button there. On the bottom, you get the aux port, so that's where this would connect. There's that. A bit crunchy at first. <laughs> and here's the charging port. Type C, obviously. Okay, there's that. I don't think you can use it on USB mode, as nice as that would be for wired mode. You know, like if you're using it with your laptop, for, for example, you could use it with USB mode. So you can use the built in uh, amplifier and DAC. So, overall, really nice headphones. Leather on the, I'm not sure it was real leather or is it vegan leather or what do you call it on the ear pads they're soft and same for the headband it's a nice pair of headphones so i'm gonna download the app install the updates whatever um and then when i know it a little more i will screen record the app or whatever and tell you more about it so there's the headphones for now easy to pair with bluetooth i can just i think you just hold that button down and easy to connect and use so I'll show you the app 
in a bit. Okay, so from what I'm uh, doing now is a screen recording, and I turned on the microphone, I think. Hold on. I think the mic is on. Uh, we're in the Bose app right now, and I'm supposed to be able to hear my own voice sort of clearly because I have the setting on. Uh, self voice. It's at medium, so. Can I hear myself? Not really. A little bit. It's kind of like, you know, covering your ears and talking, so the self voice thing may or may not be working. Although the headphones just said call ended. But enough of that. You're here to buy these because you want to listen to music. Uh, here's the app. You start here. Okay. They're still telling me tips even though I've owned this thing for like two weeks. Okay. So here you are. All the settings for the headphones itself. You have volume, a slider here. Uh, you have, can't tap the headphone itself. You have a settings page. We'll look at that later. You have modes, quiet, aware, and immersion. Aware will turn off noise canceling and uh, kind of pipe in the noise of the environment back into the uh, back into the headphone, so that you know you can hear both the music as well as what's around you. And uh, immersion is a little different because uh, you know it's hard to explain without you actually wearing the headphones, but it's kind of like the audio is coming from a specific direction because, you know, if you turn your head, uh, the audio will kind of fade to the right or left depending on where you turn it. It's a weird mode. I don't use it. You can mostly leave in quiet mode. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to leave it in aware mode so I can hear myself talk. <clears throat> you can even do custom modes. And there's a setting to remember it. Um, I have it just default to uh, quiet because, after all, that's why I bought this thing. Because it's uh, rated best in uh, noise canceling. Source. Um, you have different things that you can connect to. Different machines I've connected to in the past. It remembers them all. You can. I don't know if you can remove them. Yeah, you can. You can edit them. You can delete devices that you don't have anymore. Multi-point connection, connect two devices at once, switch between them. Uh, that's useful, because sometimes I have it hooked up to my phone to take a call, and also to my laptop when I'm gaming. Anyway, EQ, of course you can change the EQ, bass, uh, mids, treble, you know. And there's different presets, bass boost, bass reducer, treble boost, treble reducer. I just leave it flat, it's fine. Immersive audio, that's that thing um, where you move your head and the audio kind of follows you around, or it doesn't. It stays where you left it. There's off, which I leave it at. There's still, that means uh, that means the audio is at a set point, you know, in, in the space that you're in. And then motion, it'll follow you. So that means you tilt your head, you uh, actually turn your head a little bit, and uh, the audio will, that point where the audio is coming from will turn as well. It's a weird thing to describe with words. You just got to listen to it. So, hey, if you have a friend who owns these headphones, uh, ask them if you can try it uh, because it's definitely an experience. Uh, I don't, I personally don't find it very impressive. Um, I just like the quiet mode without any spatial audio or immersive audio as they want to call it. it. It works, you know. But yeah, it's just fun to play with a little bit. Shortcut. Um, you hold the slider. It's not really a physical slider, but it, it's a touch slider on the, on the side of the right ear cup. And uh, you can program a shortcut into it. I have uh, change immersive audio, so change through still, motion, and off if I want to play with that. Uh, I don't use my voice assistant on my phone. Not very helpful. And here, battery level. If I want to know the battery level, I just I just check the, you know, batteries in the, uh, let's see. All right. So for that shortcut, change immersive audio, not battery level, not voice, this is not Spotify. Just download my music off YouTube. 
uh, so I don't need to stream it. It's on my phone's local drive, and I don't need internet for that. Uh, I don't use the other three. Maybe you do. <laughs> that's why it's programmable. Uh, I changed the immersive audio because sometimes I, that's the most useful feature for the shortcut. Anyway, tips, it just shows you how it's kind of like an instruction manual, how to use your, your, your headphone. Now let's go to that settings tab. You can give it a name. There are some uh, preset names that, well, is what it is. I mean, or you can give it your own name. I just call it Bose QC Ultra headphones because that's what they are. Product update. You can uh, update the firmware on these things, on, on these headphones. Product tips. You know, that's my issue with the settings menu on this app. There are some settings that are these six buttons on the home uh, page. I could call it the home page that repeat themselves in settings, such as product tips. However, there are other settings that don't appear. Let me try to find one. EQ is there, modes is there, immersive audio is there, shortcut is there. I don't think source is there, or is modes there? Yeah, modes is there. Is source there? That would be Bluetooth connections. Uh, EQ? There, I think EQ is there, equalizer, yeah. Immersive audio, is that there? It is. Wait, wait a minute. Modes is there, yes. Source is there under Bluetooth connections. EQ is there under equalizer. That's just a longer word. Immersive audio is there. Shortcut? Shortcut there. Shortcut is there. And tips is there. Actually, all of them are there, just under different names. Okay, I knew there was something there that wasn't there. Whatever. I'm not going to complain. Maybe there was an update from last time I checked this thing. Okay, so we already saw those. Shortcut, we already saw that. Ah, modes. That was the issue. It's not actually modes. It's only the setting for remember my mode. If you go back to modes here, you can pick quiet, aware, immersion, or whatever custom mode you made. Here, it's just the setting for remember my mode. Got it. That's why. Immersive audio is still the same. Equalizer is the same. Self-voice, that's the thing. Doesn't really work. Uh, at least in uh, when I'm doing a screen recording with the mic on. That's what I'm essentially doing with my phone now. Power. Uh, I guess how long it is till it shuts off on its own. I guess if nothing's playing. I guess I could change it back to three hours. I don't leave it off my head for more than... No, wait. No, when I remove it, I generally don't put it back on for a while. So, okay, three hours. On head detection, autoplay, pause. I do like that, actually. So when you take off your headphones, it'll stop playing the music. And uh, I guess if someone's calling me, people rarely call me, which is good. Uh, I rarely take receive phone calls. But whenever I do... Maybe when I put the headphones on my head while they're still connected to my phone, it'll pick up the call for me, which is useful or annoying, depending on what you're doing. So that's why they give you the option to turn it on and off. Voice prompts. It's okay. It tells me uh, something like what I'm connected to, how much battery is left. That's good. Technical info is like details about the headphone. Common questions, yeah. What's association status? I don't know. Data manufacturer very... No, that's like half a year ago almost. Uh, common questions that takes you to their support site. And the firmware they use. Like, yes, sir. Whatever. License. Whatever. I don't read that. Not my problem. Anyway, that's uh, the app. It's pretty good. It works. It's not actually. It's actually not that good. It it could be simpler. Oh, there's a refresh function. Why? Anyway, as for the sound, I quite like it. Uh, the EQ can definitely help if your thinking is lacking in some areas. Um, the noise cancellation is amazing. 
<clears throat> the TV can be playing real loud in the background, and I can't hear it. People can be talking in the background, I can't hear it. Uh, anything could be happening in the background, I can't hear it. Only thing is, I think this is common to all noise-canceling headphones, I've owned quite a few in the past, that like sudden loud noises, it, it won't be able to pick up. Or at least it won't cancel out immediately, so you will still hear some stuff. It's not like, you know, detaching yourself from reality. Um, it's more like quieting down everything so that you can enjoy your music, games, what movie, whatever, in peace. Uh, so yeah, noise cancellation is very good. Comfort on this headphone, very good. It's not too heavy. It doesn't clamp too hard. So, and it's very it, it's. It's almost infinitely adjustable in terms of the the length of the I don't know how to call it those those side adjustments like the the size whatever side size adjustment uh, because there are no notches like most headphones when you adjust the things on the side there are those uh, it'll fall into a uh, there will be a notch. <clears throat> For uh, so that both sides can be equal. This one, there are no notches. Maybe that was a was that a manufacturing defect. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it was designed that way. Or was that an oversight by the engineers? Who knows. But yeah, it's pretty much infinitely adjustable. Do I like it? Not really. I kind of like there being notches, so I can say like eight on each side or five on each side, whatever. That's what I did with all my headphones in the past. I remember how many clicks till it's my size. Because I have to uh, shrink the headphones, like put in a backpack or something. Yeah. Whatever. Depends. I think the AirPods Max, the you know, over-ear headphones from Apple, th those don't have it either. So maybe that's the reason I didn't get those in the first place. <laughs> but... Yeah, hopefully the mic on the headphone is being used, not the mic on the iPhone that I'm recording with. <clears throat> oh, battery life is pretty good. I can use it for a few hours here and there. Uh, I only had to recharge once, I believe, once or twice in the time that I, I owned this thing, which is a couple weeks. So I can't give, like exactly how many hours that you can use it continuously without charging for because I haven't drained it in one sitting, uh, which is good. That means it, it lasts a long time. Or maybe I just don't use them all that often because I just sit for like an hour, take them off, use them for an hour later in the day, take them off, you know, that kind of thing. But anyway, that's my uh, thoughts on the Bose QC Ultra headphones. Very good set if you can get them on sale. I know it was only like 50 bucks off when I got it, but still worth it. It's kind of pricey, but it's a good headphone. Uh, there it is. Thanks for watching. Remember to uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.